enlightens the eyes, reveals God's righteousness and endures forever. Now, let us listen to the reading from the Holy Scriptures. Chapter 3, verses 12 to 14. You are the people of God. He loved you and chose you for his own. So then, you must clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience. Be tolerant with one another and forgive one another whenever any of you has a complaint against someone else. You must forgive one another as Jesus forgave you. And to all these qualities add love, which binds all things together in perfect unity. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Is taken from Bhagavad Gita. Matras Parashtu Kaunteya Shitoshna Shuka Dukada Agam Apaino Nityasthan Stitik Shaswa Bharata Meaning, O son of Kunti, the contact between the senses and the sense objects gives rise to fleeting perceptions of happiness and distress. These are non-permanent and come and go like the winter and summer seasons. O descent of Bharat, one must learn to tolerate them without being disturbed. Reading is taken from Quran, Surah Al Imran, Chapter 3, Verses 134. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Al Lazina Yunfikuna Fisur Rai, Iwadur Rai, Iwal Kazimin Al Gaza, Wal Afina and In Nas, Wallahu Yahib Al Mohsinin. Meaning, in the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful, who spends in the cause of Allah during ease and hardship and who restrains anger and who forgives the people and Allah loves the doers of good. We thank the teachers, Mrs. Diana and Miss Victoria for training the students. And everyone experiences times of emotional turmoil. Emotional environment is an invisible measure of feelings. Sometimes it can have a feel-good factor where the children feel positive and at others it can have a not-so-good factor when children were down or unhappy. Thought and emotions are not separate entities. The way you think is the way you feel. Some children will require intense emotional support from their key workers like parents and teachers. A good emotional ecosystem will help the children to get the emotional support, understanding their feelings, making them feel safe and secure, enabling them to learn and develop, giving them to confidence to explore and overcome any challenges they may face. Let us be a caregiver 
to our children by making them emotionally strong and helping them to value their life. The life within you is not there to serve your body, mind or emotion. The body, mind and emotion are there to serve our life. Thank you. harvest so abundant. Example moves the world more than doctrine. We kindly request Reverend Father Stanley Ignatius, Rector and Corresponder, St. Bits Community of Schools, to spread the sweet aroma of happiness through his words of welcome. Dear Mr. Here, John Lewis, we are indeed very happy to have you with us this morning as the chief guest for the 65th Parents' Day or Annual Day of Dominic Savio Matriculation I Secondary School. I'm indeed very happy this evening to welcome our chief guest. Mr. A. John Lewis, IAS, under Tamil Nadu government, is currently serving as Joint Commissioner Revenue Administration Department and Managing Director of Tamil Nadu Arasu Cable TV Corporation Limited. He also served many other roles such as Vice Chairman and CEO of Tamil Nadu Maritime Board. Before this, he served as Deputy Secretary to the Chief Minister, the Managing Director of Sugar Mill in Mungil, Turepatu and Perambalur. He worked as the additional collector in Tiruvarur. And during the bifurcation of uh, Chengalpattu from Kanjiburam, he was appointed as the special officer in the region and was later appointed as the first collector of Chengalpat district. From here, he was transferred to Chennai to work as the joint secretary to Home Department and later Maus Department. We are very happy to tell you that Mr. John Lewis completed his schooling in a Don Bosco institution, a Don Bosco Matriculation High Secondary School, Tirpatu, and later on completed his bachelor's degree and master's degree in Loyola College, scoring gold medal in his graduating year. <laughs> Apart from the very nice things told connected to his office, talking to the people who work around him, talking to people who have met him or interacted with him. They say Mr. John Lewis is a sincere, honest officer who always goes out of his way to help the poor people very specially. 
And ordinary people tell me that we can meet Mr. John Lewis as an officer even without an appointment. We don't have to wait because he is already waiting for us and he is ever ready to help us. These are the feedbacks I received from people who have met him or who have interacted with him. And they say projects, if it is benefiting the poor people, he makes sure that it is implemented as soon as possible. And I think these are the most valuable credentials Mr. John Lewis has, because of which he is a great personality today for us in Tamil Nadu. We are very happy, dear sir, to have you with us. In spite of your busy schedule, we know how you have to be always ready and alert to receive calls or other uh, requirements from your seniors, senior officers or people in charge of you, but still you have accepted our invitation and you have honored us as the chief guest for this evening's school day. Thank you on behalf of the management of Dominic Savio School for your presence. Welcome, sir. I also thank Mrs. Sharmila Lewis, an advocate in the High Court of Chennai, Tamil Nadu, for accompanying him, for accepting our request to be with us this evening, and she will be awarding the winners of the school. Thank you, madam. We are also very happy and honored to have Dr. Alfred Jose as the guest of honor for this evening's celebration. As you just now saw on the screen, Life Coach founder, We For The People Foundation, humanity gangster, founder of We For The People Foundation NGO, CEO Bumbley B Events, CEO United Pixel Studios, Max Group, Life Coach Red X Academy CEO, Alpha Designs and Managing Partner Alpha Digital Media and Entertainment. And he has a line of YouTube channels, Dr. Alfred Jose as Checkmate, Black and White, Humanity Gangster, 360 Review, and RJ for Chennai Live 104.8. We are also happy to know, I am sure all of you are aware, that as an actor, he has done four web series as an antagonist. And right presently acting in four movies as villain with Yogi Babu, one movie, and with G.V. Prakash, another. A charter secretary for Rotary Club of Agarga, state director of Anti-Corruption and Vigilance Council of India. Dr. Alfred Jose is a doctor of humanity, doctor of philosophy, and a doctorate in mental illness. Thank you once again, Dr. Alfred Jose, for accepting our invitation to be with us. And your presence is surely going to be a motivation for our students. Yes, my dear parents, we are very happy to have you all for this 65th school annual day. Parents of the school are the backbone. All that we do, we are able to do and we are able to execute only because of the support of the parents of our school. This is the right time and day to thank you all for your cooperation and support and for being the parent of Dominic Savio School. I wholeheartedly welcome you all to this evening's Parents' Day and we wish you a very pleasant evening. I also take this opportunity to invite or to welcome the fathers, sisters, friends, well-wishers who are present here to view this 65th school day of Dominic Savio School. Yes, we talk about emotional quotient, we sp speak about emotional intelligence, and today Dominic Savio School is telling us something about emotional ecosystem. You know, Don Bosco's educational method is based on the three pillars of the three pillars of reason, religion, and loving kindness. Don Bosco always 
laid foundation or he made sure to give a strong foundation to the students by instilling in them all the important values of life. That's why we are always very proud to see our students not only as happy students today, but as honest citizens later on as adults in the society. That is our achievement and we are very proud about it. So I congratulate all our students for the participation, for the achievements. May they be assisted by Don Bosco and live their lives happily and successfully. So once again, welcoming you all, I wish you a very pleasant evening. God bless Dominic Savio School. God bless you all. Great things are simple and many can be expressed in a single word. Honor. I now call upon Mrs. Vijaya, our Vice Principal, to take over the felicitation part. Attitude and joy fills our hearts today. We are extremely delighted and overwhelmed to have with us highly distinguished personalities to grace our stage. It gives me great pleasure to gain this opportunity to honor the chief guest of the day, Mr. John Lewis IAS, Joint Commissioner, Revenue Administration and Disaster Management. As an expression of our joy, pride, and gratitude, I would like to call upon Reverend Father Stanley Ignatius, our Rector and Correspondent, to adorn our guests with a shawl. Thank you, Father. I now call upon Reverend Father Y. L. Irudiraj, Vice Rector and Headmaster of St. Beats Anglo-Indian Higher Secondary School, to present memento to our esteemed Chief Guest. Thank you, Father. I now request Reverend Father K. G. Arul Raj, Principal of St. Beats Academy, to present a gift to our guest. Our students will now present a gift and a bouquet to our chief guest. We are fortunate to have with us a versatile personality, Dr. Alfred Jose, founder We for the People Foundation. To felicitate this dynamic personality, I now request Reverend Father Stanley Ignatius to adorn our guest with a shawl. I now call upon Reverend Father K.J. Arunraj, Principal of St. Beats Academy, to present a memento to our esteemed guest. I now request Reverend Father Arokinas, our Principal, to present a gift to our guest. Our students will present a gift and bouquet to our guest. We are happy to have with us We are happy to have with us as a special guest Mrs. Sharmila Lewis, BABL. I now request Reverend Father Stanley Ignatius to adorn our guest with a shawl. I request Reverend Father Arokidas, Principal of Dominic Xavier, to present a memento to our guest.
Our students will now present a gift and a bouquet to our guest. Now our students will present gift and roses Thank you, ma'am. Enjoy it. We take pride in screening before you the fleeting glimpses of the old news commitment. I am sure these visual clippings will be a passionate Pantomime, which epitomizes the caliber of Dominic Savio Matriculation Higher Secondary School. We are pleased to present to you, dear parents, friends, students, educators, and other members of the community to take a moment to view our school annual report, sharing information about all the events and activities that foster student success. Let us look onto the screen for the most expected moment of the event, Annual Report 2022-23. I request Reverend Father Auroke Das, our principal, to take submit the Annual Report. Our Honorable Chief Guest, Mr. A. John Lewis, IAS, Joint Commissioner, Revenue Administration and Disaster Management, Managing Director of Tamil Nadu Arasu Cable TV Corporation Limited. We humbly request our esteemed Chief Guest to endo his parlance on the special event. Respondent, my dear friend, Father Das, and my classmate, the Principal, Vice Principal, Mrs. Vijaya, Guest of Honor, DJ, Actor, Versatile Personality, Life Coach, Dr. Alfred Jose, Distinguished Guest, my better half, Advocate Mrs. Louis Sharmila, the Coordinator of the Program, Mr. Manu, SPL of the School, I think Mr. Anthony, ASPL, who is going to deliver the key word of address, thank Ashish Jude, Dear teachers, parents, non-teaching staff of this school, and my dear students, a very warm and pleasant evening to all. Avail Narindarukkum, Anayvarukkum, Enodiyya Kanivana, Malai Vanakathri, Anbodu Thirvithu Kalgiri. Tamil Rauts. Good. My heartiest congratulations to the management on this day when they are celebrating the 65th annual day of this great school, Dominic Savio. As Father Pre Rector introduced me, I am a past pupil of Don Bosco. I studied in Don Bosco for first five years, nearly five years. And I am really happy to be a past pupil of this distinguished Don Bosco school. And I can proudly say that you are all fortunate to study in such a great institutions. I have no doubt that this school will make you a good citizen of this country, as the rector was telling you. We are, he is making honest and good citizens for this country. I hope and I'm confident that you will be a good citizen of this country and we are molded in a unique way which makes us 
smart citizens of this country. Today, many past peoples of Don Bosco are in various sectors, like me, an IAS officer, IPS, engineers, doctors, field, in the cine field, entertaining, and everywhere. I can proudly say that these Salvation managed schools in which I studied gave me the qualities which is lasting in us and which is ever requ required for us. It taught me to be honest. It taught me to be pious. It taught me to be stand against injustice wherever it is. And it, it allowed me to have a balanced life. Balanced life, I mean the distribution of my time for all uh, things. There is a time to study, there is a time to play, there is a time to entertain ourselves, time to sleep and time to go for eating. So you cannot act. We have to manage our time, only then we can shine in our life. Whether it is sun or rain, in the Don Bosco school, you have to, you have to play for an hour, isn't it? That is what makes us unique personality. That is what makes us stand above all in the society. So we are balanced in our life. We not only we don't have a monotonous life of only studying. We dance, we play, we entertain each other, we talk to each other, and of course we study and excel in academics also. That is the great privilege of a Don Bosco student, a Don Bosco managed institution student. Of course, your school, with this great infrastructure I saw, it brought back my memories of my school days. It brought back my memories as a collector, wherein we are saluted with the Lord, great God of honor and all those things. So I was just thinking of all those things, but it is there in my mind, and I am standing before you, talking to you as a past student and as an achiever, achiever from the past student. <coughs> it is all required for you to grab the opportunity of this school and strive forward. We expect you to study well and achieve greatness in life and be useful to the society. At your age, acquiring knowledge and hard work are the two key to success. Continuous acquiring knowledge, that is what is most important for your life. Ultimately, your success lies on how much you work hard towards the time in your life. The education system you have today, in Rikirikra Nelamal, Mulitarium, Langa Padikrapo, you're in the system era, you perigra system era. And the Galatala, when we were students, it is enough to mug up some things and reproduce in the examination and get and we can really score marks. But in the under Sunal Illa, today the system is very challenging. In the twenty first century in which we live today, the questions are asked beyond the textbook which you are reading. When you go out in life, when you go out after your school and college studies, when you go out in life, the problems that you face have no answers from the textbook which you are studying. So what you should do? You should try to learn the life skills in the school, which only will make you shine and live and be a better personality in the, in the life ahead. You should have the creativity. You should not reproduce what is thought. You should have the creativity. You should have the attractive presentation of what you have read and you should master the issues in which you are thinking and you should have the ability to convey. That is what is lacking right now. You should have the ability to convey what you want to speak. You should have the ability to convey to the persons in his language so that he also understands what is there. In those days when we studied and came out of the school for job, our competitors were only our friends of the same age. But today, this environment is very different. We are living in the machine world. Machines are given artificial intelligence and they are designed to work the work that men were doing earlier. Science and technology has advanced to a large, more extent. You have all technologies. You have Alexa, you have Sophia, you have Einstein, you have Google Assistant. Everyone is there to assist and work for instead of the human being. You have Intelligent machines in the market, they are already there in the market. They are substituting the work which are done by us. So your future is very, very difficult when you go out of the campus after your college studies and school studies. Be prepared to face this virtual humans also. You remember, machines are fed with artificial intelligence and they are there waiting for you to compete with you. 
That is why I stress that you should commit yourself for hard work so that you will be succeeding in your life. Dear teachers, I am grateful for my teachers. I hope your students will be grateful for whatever you are making them to be. Like Michelangelo who set out the angel out of the hard rock by chiseling out the unwanted pieces, you take our inferior qualities and make us shine in the world. We are really grateful to you. But the challenges of these students we they face today is much more than what we face in our life. So you should teach them, you help the students to not only to think, but you should also help them to understand what they want to. They should know how to think, not only what to think, but they should know how to think. You should prepare them for the greater examination of their life. When they go out in the world, when they face the world, when they challenge the pro when they when they are confronted with problems and challenges, they should be able to find a solution which is not available in the textbooks. You should mot motivate them and educate them and ensure that the values of life are taught when they are in the school, like compassion, gratitude, a sense of responsibility, respect for elders, and of course, leadership qualities, which is essentially required. They should have a personality of their own to stand in their own legs. That is what is required. So we request the teachers to teach them so that they should also know that there is nothing to despair in this world. You should teach them that life is full of hope and they should be ready to face the problems in their despair. Dear students, once you choose hope, everything is possible. I am trying to say that virtue of hope is very important. You should not despair when you go out and stand and face huge problems when you go to the go out. And you should not panic. You should have a hope. You remember, very recently we had this World Cup final, FIFA. As a Don Bosco student, I always loved to be a football player. Your principal knows. <laughs> I always took the position of uh, right wing as well as fullback, both. And I was always proud to have that uh, blue jersey of Italy. <laughs> we still have that photo. Remember, the World Cup which he witnessed, the final match, I hope all of you have seen, Don Bosco students would have seen it. You remember Argentina won the match, of course. It was well settled and well, we well thought, we, we, always, we always thought that Argentina will win, but it won. In the Argentina team, there was one player, you remember, who, who made the second goal, his angel Di Maria. He is really a very old man. In 2014 World Cup final, when they were facing Brazil, Brazil was already a declared winner. In that time that he is a leading player of his team, he was injured with muscle injury in his thighs and he was fighting with his coach that he should be allowed with putting injection in his legs. He was very desperate that he should play in the final match, but he was not allowed because of the injury he had. But he never lost hope in his talent. And ultimately, he continued to play despite that injury and came back with the full vigor in the 2022 FIFA World Cup. He is one of the reasons, of course, Messi is there, but after that, he is also one of the leading players which brought laurels to his team. And with his, with his failure, he really strived forward. What is left, it is a hope that he had. So, dear teachers, please teach your students to be hope. Dear students, once you choose hope, everything is possible. Therefore, cultivate the trait of hope. Be confident and never lose hope when you are in trouble. Remember, in the struggle for life, when you want to achieve in life, there will be always failures. In our days, we had our hero in basketball. He is popularly called MJ, not Michael Jackson, Jordan. He is a six-time most valuable player of NBA team. He has been presented with President Medal of the United States of America. Ten times he is a leading player of NBA. You know what he said? 
In his career, he said, I have missed almost 9,000 shots. You mean what is shot? Putting the ball in the basket. 300 games I lost. In 26 occasions, the winning shot was given to me, but I failed. I failed my team. I have failed over and over and over. But ultimately, what happened? My persistence. And ultimately, I succeeded in life. So life is not all about bothering about failures, but move forward with confidence. When I wanted to become a priest and came out and I was trying to know what to do, I became, though I acquired a gold medal in Loyola College with distinction, I was really desperate. The life I had with all my personality, with all my sportive ac actions, life was very difficult. It was my mother who gave me a ray of hope that I can succeed if I would attempt for a UPSC civil service or collector. With her hope, I tried and I got it. But the, the road to success was not easy. It was very difficult. Today, I am going to see a lot of people who are going to get prizes, award-winning prizes. I wish all the students who have won prizes and all the rest who try to get these prizes. Dear friends, remember, the winner has just an edge above you, which you can bridge if you hope so. I thank once again for the rector, for the principal, the management of St. Dominic Savio Higher Matriculation Higher Secondary School for giving me this wonderful opportunity to be amidst of you on this great day. Wish you all students a bright life ahead. Thank you.